good everyone in this tutorial you will learn how to do reference google x imagery google x satellite imagery in autocad software first of all before you start you have to connect your pc to the internet using your modem or your phone or spot after you are done with connecting your pc to the internet the next thing you do is to launch your google s software after you launch your google s software you locate your place of interest that is where you want to work on where you want to capture the image and as well as you reference it you locate the place after you locate the place then you have to do some basic setting you go this way you go to this tool option you see this place here you change this from decimal degree to degree minute and second mm? then this unit of measurement you need to meter stroke kilometer after you are done then you press your enter key and you, you click on ok the next thing you do is for you to to locate two reference points or to in to pick two reference points on the imagery that's the point that you will use to reference the image in your in your AutoCAD environment. So for that, you click on this add place mark. You click on this add add place mark. Then you have to go diagonal. That is, be this way or this way. In the case maybe, but most cases most people do mistake by going horizontal. That is by placing their place mark, which is a reference point vertical or horizontal in most cases they may end up they, they end up having little issues that is the accuracy in some part of the image will be good while the other side will be poor so in most cases it is advisable to divide the image diagonally so that you can have good and quality accuracy at the end of the day so you can place one here you copy this this coordinate you copy it and paste it yeah you copy the second one the second one also which is the nothing and paste then you click ok similar thing you go second reference point click here here you see this going diagonally like this and you copy this copy this paste it copy this you paste it and you click ok then at this point you are done with creating the reference point because it's the point that you you use to do reference the imagery on your AutoCAD software and the next thing is to save the imagery you go to this place save image you click the save image go to map option uncheck the title uncheck the title the legend the scale the compass then change the scaling to one to one because that will determine the quality of the imagery after you saved it then resolution you go to maximum resolution and this will help to determine how far you can zoom to pick details from the imagery when you are going to digitize or trace the image as the case may be and after you are done the next thing is to click on save image now that you click on save image then you are going to give it a name which will be displayed on where you save the image or you create a folder maybe on your desktop you create your folder on your desktop and save the imagery in it let me see see this is the folder create the folder on your desktop Use the folder you can see create the folder on your desktop with folder 2 
then you give the name to the image image then you click on save just wait for some minute it will load and just wait for, for, some, for, for some second it will load and and the image will save yeah the image has been saved successfully then the next thing is to minimize the oblet software and then go to your folder that you created and view the image you can see this is the imagery <coughs> you see can you see the, the resolution of the of the imagery you see it's very very clean and very very neat and the next thing is for you to launch your autocad software Yeah, the AutoCAD software has launched this free. Before you do continue with your referencing, you have to do some basic setting. You go to your format, unit. Leave every other thing this way. You can change this to zero. Then go to your intersection scale and change it to kilometers. After you are done, you click OK. Then the next thing is to open your image. You can copy it. You can copy it, or just come to this place, drag it, drag it, and bring it to the AutoCAD interface. Click the AutoCAD interface. Type in Z. Enter. E, enter to bring out your imagery see bring out your imagery bring out your imagery then yeah here's the imagery and the next thing you do to highlight the imagery and type in a command called align command called align you should code is al type in the command call align and pressing enter once you press enter you ask you to specify your first source point your source point is nothing but the two reference points which you created from on the imagery from google it so you can choose any of them as your first source point any one you like you can choose now let me start with this you click the tip of this place mark then you type in the, the the value of the eastern or the eastern and the northern which are the coordinate you type it in two four nine six three three point seventy three then you press in comma it will show a lock then you type in the second value which is eight six one six eight three point thirty two you press in enter it will ask you to specify a second source point the second source point now is this one this one click the tip and type in the value two four nine eight six two point eighty nine pressing comma eight six two one nine four point eighty four enter to ask you to specify your test source point or continue right click on your mouse and you press it and you click on yes or you press in y on your keyboard and press enter yes the image will disappear and you type in z enter e enter at this point you are done with your true referencing now to confirm your accuracy, your accuracy whether what you did is correct or wrong you can take a measurement of any place on this image here and go and compare it with what you have on the Google Earth software. Let me measure from this place, from here to this place. You can see it's about 34 meters. 34 meters. Now let me go to my Google Earth. 
I'll be placed here. I'll be placed here. I might draw it now. You see? Hopefully, 34 meters. 32.88. Maybe I'm not clicking the, the last spot. Okay, from here. Did you see of almost 34 meters there must be an error which of could be negative or positive 0 0.5 not like you have something of like 34 meters on ground and have it to the three on the reference image it's not correct so please like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more updates on any video i upload Thank you and God bless you all.